So I've been in this for about a year now, um, working in the ICU with really, really sick COVID patients. Now being on the other side of it where I'm working in an area of prevention instead of taking care of patients in the acute phase of their illness. I feel really, really lucky to be here and to be able to prevent it. This site here is a great example of exactly what FEMA does. We are pulling together local, state, and federal resources in order to help the citizens of this community. We in particular are doing this, like I said, nationwide. We have Marines and sailors ready to go outside to help anyone with special needs, uh, wheelchairs, etc., through the front doors. Um, they'll walk them right up to registration. Once they're registered or checked in for their vaccination, they'll move right along to the vaccine uh, center where they will receive their vaccination. From there, they are uh, shuttled along right into our observation area where they're watched by some physician assistants, some medical doctors, and some nurses um, for about 15 minutes, and then off they go on their way. I'm Major Greg Moynihan, and I'm the officer in charge of the Marines and Sailors from First Marine Logistics Group. We're here in Arlington, Texas, and we established a CVC. When we first got here, the fire department opened their arms, showed us their process, asked us to integrate, and because of that, we were set up for success. Our role is to provide some level of oversight, um, but it's also to ensure that we all function and work together to protect the citizens of North Texas. It's the collaboration of the operations, the support, the partnership, and then the technology keeps it all in track. Our registration system not only checks people in, it makes sure that uh, we verify who they are, and then it takes them from the point of entrance in this uh, venue all the way through to the shot. You know, I'm, I'm 63 years old. I've been in baseball for 36 years. And in my lifetime, this is by far the most important initiative, mission, if you will, that, that we've had, that we've ever encountered. As we sit here in the first week of March 2021 to think that there have been more than a half million American lives lost to this virus. I mean, I, I just can't think of any other calling that's more important at this time. For me, I think it's emotional because my last year working with COVID-19, it's, it's been the hardest work year of my life. And with COVID, the nurses are almost assuming that role, not only as the nurse, as the caregiver, but now as the griever, as the friend at the end stage of life. It's exhausting. Um, it's, it's very, very tiring. Sometimes you come home and you don't even want to eat dinner. You just want to go right to bed. Um, yeah. What gives you hope? What gives me hope is how many people are coming out willing to protect themselves and to protect their friends and family by getting this vaccine.